Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Andrea and I love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. My channel is all about taking the classical exercises and getting the most out of them for you and your body, whether you're a teacher or an enthusiast. And so today I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is or put my workout where my mouth is and start a new series that I've been calling the Scissors Workouts. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I struggle with all things one-sided. And so I sometimes design workouts for myself that are all exercises done one side and then the other. And if you missed my one to chair workout, um, I will link it below. And so today I'm gonna add a scissors workout on the reformer. And the reformers are a major piece of apparatus, so I've just selected a handful of exercises that I'm gonna do in the order. And if there's a one side at a time version of the exercise, I'm gonna do that. There might be some exercises that I do in the normal way, but just as like a little step off point to go to one side and then the other. I will include the list of the exercises in this video also in the box below. And I recommend if you're not familiar with the order that you print out the exercises so that you can have them with you so you'll know what's coming next. Um, thank you so much. Um, I recently taught some workshops uh, where we based our Pilates projects on things we needed to work on in our own body or in our workout. And I found that a lot of people like to work on balance side to side and asymmetries. So I hope you enjoy these scissors workouts and I barely can say it. Um, but if you'd like to see more scissors workouts like this, if you like this concept, do let me know in a comment below and have a great workout and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with footwork. I'm on two springs only because I'm going to do one side at a time um, really only five repetitions of each side so that it doesn't take forever. Um, and here I go. I'm going to sit with control. I'm going to lie back. And I'm going to start with my balls of the feet on the bar in the heels together position. And then once I find that position, I'm just going to open my heels so my feet are on the balls of the feet and parallel. Oh, I feel very, very jiggly already. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to start with my right leg on the bar and just have my left leg into my chest like this. You can hold it with your hand if you like, or you can just let your arms be beside you. And then I'm going to do five times with the right leg. Four. Five. And then the left leg. And trying to get all that stuff going in my footwork, my lift my lift on the return, this is number four, number five. So now to the arches on my right foot. Two, three, four, five. To the left foot. This one's really hard. <laughs> And then to the heel on the right foot. And then to the heel on the left foot. And I'm just taking care to put my foot on the bar so it is under my hip and my knee. And then the tendon stretch. Uh, I'm going to keep my other leg at the same place, and then I'm going to lift as I lower. Two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to place the other foot right next to it. of each position with two feet. And I am still on two springs, of course. The arch. The heels. And to the 
tendon stretch. Down, down, down. And then I'm going to slide away. I'm going to sit up and put three springs on for the hundred. I'm going to take my foot bar down and get my handles. And I'm going to do the hundred normal for the first half, and then I'm going to start doing some scissoring in the hundred on the second half. Let's, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> is three, four, last one, and now I'm going to start scissoring. And I'm trying to feel like from my upper back all the way down underneath me to my foot, that's all moving. I don't really know how to count this way, <laughs> clearly. So I'm gonna just do a few more sets and then call it a hundred. <laughs> yeah, basically you'll stop when you can't do any more. Okay, so now I'm gonna to go to coordination three times normally, and I'm gonna do two times with the crossing beats as our scissor action. I'm gonna do some kind of scissor action. Oh, and I have too many springs for coordination. <laughs> so change to two springs if you change to three springs for the hundred. And now the beats. And I'm imagining that they're coming from that same place in my back, my upper back. And I'm doing 10. Ooh, those are exhausting. I'm gonna hang up my handles. And then let's go to the stomach massage. So I'm going to start on four springs, and I'm going to do five repetitions of the stomach massage positions. When I get to the third position, I'm going to do it also on one leg at a time. Okay, so here is my pad. Oh, and I messed up my pad because I, I don't know, it was very unsatisfactory. <laughs> Then you have two springs on. Let's do three like this. So now take the left, I'm going to sit a little closer, take the left leg under the bar and hold like the first position and we'll do five. Three. Other side. Four. Oh, that's so noisy. One more. Five. And not to be forgotten, the twist.
And now I'm gonna to go to the long stretch series. So I'm just gonna leave these two springs on, move my pad backward. And all the things that I can do one leg at a time, I will do one leg at a time. The exception to that will be the down stretch. That will be done in the normal way. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna do three with two legs. I take that back, I'm gonna do two with two legs and then two sets of one leg at a time. Actually, I lied to you, three on each leg, one leg at a time. And then to the down stretch. Three times normal down stretch. Up stretch. I'm going to do two and then three on each side. And then right leg, left leg in the air. And then left leg down, right leg in the air. this far. Let's do the combo one leg at a time too. Let's see if I can remember how to do it <laughs> when I take the leg away. Yeah, one on the right side and one on the left side. Okay, elefante. A few normal. And then right leg three times, left leg three times. Step to the floor, turn around. Let's do one set with two legs and then two sets on each leg of the long back stretch. seat for a moment. So when you do the one leg version, the leg that you're not standing on, the heel will rest on top of the shoulder rest. Trying to rest. <laughs> so my right leg I'm going to stand on and my left heel I'm going to perch on top of the shoulder rest. and then two in the reverse direction. And then I'm gonna have a seat, and I'll do a le the left. So I'm going to do three sets of the thing 
things that precede the tree. And then I'm going to do as many tree variations as I am able. Ooh. Pause to organize my straps. <laughs> my favorite activity. Okay. I'm going to do three of this round one. I don't know if I'll get all the way back or not. And then three of this tall one. Three sets side to side. Exhale as you stretch side. And stand as evenly as you can on both of your legs. So you're sitting nice and evenly on the box. Three sets of twist. Back up a little bit. I should not skip around the world. Let's do that too. Pull away. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to go back normally in the tree, just plain at first. I'm really pulling away from my strap. And now I'm going to reach for the frame at the end of the reformer, or wherever you can reach. I'm going to push on it. And now I'm going to go to the floor. Still pulling away, 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 away from the strap. Oh, move that box. Oh, three circles. Oh, oh, oh. oh a lot of groaning <laughs> on this exercise. Other side. Three, just like the previous side. And then 
and stretch it over. Okay, let's take the short box away. And we're going to get back on for the kneeling knee stretches. I'm going to do five of the first two. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to do ten of the first two, and I'm going to do five on each side of the knees off, so that I'm going to make it a one leg version instead of knees off. Okay. feel exactly like the normal footwork where your hips are down. It's really very much the same. Two more makes ten, I believe. And now let's set up for the front split and then we'll do the Russian split as well. I'm going to place a pad for the Russian split on the headpiece just to wait for me. And I'm going to start with the kneeling version of the front split. In this exercise, you want to make the focus of the exercise to open up this hip and thigh. So it's not necessary that this exercise becomes a full split. Your front leg can stay bent for now. Reach up and test your balance. Stand on both of your legs. Lift your knee, place your foot on the carriage. Reach up and find your balance. Hold the carriage in with the lift of your powerhouse and then stand on your feet and lift the powerhouse to bring it back in each time. So that you're not necessarily going forward, you're going up as well. And then forward with your arms, down, turn the heel when you lift it so your foot is parallel when your knee comes to the mat. And then we'll do it all over again on the other side. Hmm. If this feels nice and stretchy, enjoy. your foot, place your knee three times. Find your balance, reach up.
turn your foot before you put your knee down. And then I'm going to step off. I'm going to get back on after I straighten the pad for the Russian split. I'm still on two springs. The left foot goes across the corner on the foot bar. Support yourself and place your foot, the toes right in line with that little bolt. Come down to a nice lunge and really stand in that back leg. Cross your, your hands or take them behind your head. Just adjusting my foot. I'm going to do five. And then stand in your legs and lift your powerhouse to close the spring. I'm going to do three. And then place your feet back in the center of the carriage. Right leg goes back, front toes are in line with the eye bolt. And then five up on top. And then stand in that back leg. Lift your powerhouse away from it. Trying to square my hips and my split is not so big. <laughs> oh, that was a good stretch. <laughs> okay, how did you do? Thank you so much for joining me. Whew, worked up a little bit of a sweat. So thanks for joining me. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, do become a subscriber. You can click on the Plies Andrea logo right in your screen over here, and it will subscribe you to my channel. Um, there's going to be a workout video every Friday, as well as a couple other videos earlier in the week. Chatty rants, maybe these special scissors workouts, and also the Pilates exercise tutorial. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!